<laughs> Hello, hi everyone. This is Bethany Reyes. I am the creator of Hello True Beauty, which is all about inspiring women to believe in their true beauty. And today <gasps> we are doing a beautiful makeup look. I am so excited. So um we're doing like a smoky eye. This is what it looks like. Ta-da! Da -da -da -da. So freaking pretty, right? So we're gonna do like this, sh oops, the shimmery, like maroon, beautiful look. I cannot wait. So when you guys hop on, say hello, post this to your wall. There will be a giveaway during this draw, during this live video. We're doing a drawing for a free facial mask sample. And so um, one lucky lady will be chosen during the live. So all you have to do to be entered is post this to your wall and let me know you have done it and give this video a heart or a thumbs up. Oh my goodness, someone give me an angry face already. So yay, I've linked everything above that I'm wearing. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit tonight. I'm wearing this cute tie-dye pullover. Um, but what's super cute about this, sh this pullover is um, I got it in a mystery bag. So Pink Lily has these mystery bags where it's like, like $40, $35, something like that. And you get three pieces of clothing that are like mystery items in your bag. So this is one of the mystery bags and I'm like obsessed, okay? So first of all, it's super comfy. I almost feel like it gives me like rose gold vibes or whatnot. Um, so the only thing I think that would make this better is pockets. <laughs> Anyone feel like everything needs to have pockets? Like I feel like if you have a dress, it needs to have pockets. If you have a cardigan, it needs to have pockets. If you're having like a pullover, it needs to have pockets. Like please tell me I'm not the only person that feels like you have to have pockets. Okay, Teresa, thank you so much. You're entered. Oh my gosh, thank you, Heather. So yeah, this um band I got on Amazon and I freaking love it. I was thinking about doing um a giveaway for this band, but then I felt like not everyone has like a smart watch and so then it wouldn't be like that nice for someone to win it and they're like, thanks, I have this Apple Watch band, but um nothing to use it on. <laughs> Everything is better with pockets. Thank you very much. I agree. So, hey Brenda, hey Becca. So yeah, I decided I will do a small giveaway during our live. So go ahead and post this. Let's get started. I'm gonna go in with some face primer. Hey, hey, hey. We're gonna do this all over. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm hoping to get my new lipsticks in the mail very soon. You guys, we came out with these new matte liquid, not liquid, I keep saying liquid, matte lipsticks that are smudge proof, long wearing, eight hour long wear, and they are freaking beautiful. I posted on my personal wall today and like 50 people commented and are obsessed with it. So let me show you guys really quickly what they look like. Hey Karen, hey Brittany. But the sad thing is they're only available this week and then they're gonna be gone until sometime next year when they're released fully into our line so let me show you guys i posted this um look at these colors okay so i'll tell you the colors i'm obsessed with this one right here i'm freaking obsessed with because it looks like stellar um you guys know i love hot pink i feel like you can't see this very well um and then they have these beautiful neutrals down here this looks like subtle. I'm gonna probably wear that every day. But then I also love that one. And then I like that one. And then this one's good for like the holidays. The only one I don't really like is this one because it's like so light. It's like really, really light pink. I don't feel like light pink looks good on me, y'all. So I did not order that one. <laughs> I ordered like all the other ones. So they're only available until Sunday. So if you want to see all the colors up close, you can always say colors, I'll message you. And and they're on sale right now too so hey gail hey katie all right so let's go in and do our eyebrows first i know they're so pretty heather oh i need to check my tracking to see when mine comes i'm hoping mine comes before they're gone because i know that you guys like to see them on me first um we do have a feature on our website where you can actually try on the colors 
Um, so if you want to try them on, just say try on and I'll message you so you can try them on. But um, it kind of stinks because it's like, man, <laughs> I want to get them in the mail already. Hey, Megan. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Bruna. Um, so that's the only thing that kind of stinks is like, I don't have them yet. <gasps> But I ordered um, four of them and then I ordered a whole bunch for a lot of my customers. So I'm going in, you guys are probably like, what is she doing right now? I am putting this, what is it called? It's like rubbing alcohol or, or something, what? I don't know, is this rubbing alcohol? Is that what it's called? I put this in a spray bottle and when I need to sanitize my brushes because I used my brushes on someone recently, I just spray this on it and then I clean it. So that, usually I deep clean it, but I forgot to do it on two of my brushes. So I'm just going to do this as a way to sanitize it. If you didn't know that, that's a really easy way. And I just used it in an old rose water spray bottle. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Melanie. You guys post this to your wall. We have a giveaway going on tonight. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. So we're going to go in with our boom hey Adriana hey Melanie so today I went to the dentist okay usually I go every six months and you guys tell me what are, what are your reactions to the dentist do you love the dentist do you hate the dentist is the dentist your friend um so I haven't been since February because COVID and then I had a baby and life is just crazy so anywho I went today and I don't really like the dentist. I feel like even when they clean your teeth, your teeth still like freaking hurt afterwards. I'm like, dang it. Thank you, Kelly. Yay. Um, so I haven't been flossing. So they had to do like extra work on me <laughs> to clean my mouth today. So I'm hoping that my teeth aren't sore tonight. But the person was so nice. She was like, your teeth look amazing. And I was like, oh tell me more <laughs> and uh the doctor came in and she was like her teeth are really nice she hasn't had braces and I was like well thank you and he's like well it's genetic okay it's it's genetics usually a whole family doesn't have braces or cavities so I think it's kind of true and I'm curious what do you think do you think it's true so in my family I have six siblings or five siblings and one got braces the rest of us had pretty straight teeth so is the same in your family or do you feel like no like well uh half you guys got braces half you didn't i don't know i feel like it might be genetic but you tell me what do you think hey kelly i do you do think it's genetic if it is genetic i'm hoping that judah has nice teeth that's what i'm hoping for let me know, let me know. I have this little zit there that's really freaking weird. Hey, Deanna. So when I was, I'm trying to remember how old I was. I think I was just like, I want to say I was like 10, 11, something like that. I told you guys this story the other day, but I um, broke my tooth like in half. My teeth started getting bad after my pregnancies. Oh, Invisalign. That's awesome. Never had them. My teeth are straight. Just have a front gap. Oh, I'm sure it looks great. Although I heard, you know, is it is that easy to fix or no? Hey, Melanie. So, um, yeah, I ended up breaking this tooth right here when I was like 10, 11, something like that. And I was just like going along, doing my own business. And I freaking... Um, hit like a, a part of the sidewalk when I was on like the skateboard and I fell on my face and my my tooth chipped completely in half like pfft, done hey Ruby hey Kelly so anyways that happened and um, my mom rushed me to the dentist and was like fix her teeth so yeah I have a fake tooth you guys that's one thing that people like. So does it look fake? The only thing that sucks is that it's a little shorter than the other one. Oh no, my baby's awake. Victor's gonna be going in there though. 
Baby. Do you hear him? Daddy's taking care of him. Oh, my baby. So, um, anyways, <laughs> you can't tell? <sighs> That's good. <laughs> but supposedly, like, you're supposed to, like, get these changed every 20 years or so. Um, and if you, like, you're not supposed to bite into an apple. I, I bite into apples all the time. So, I'm a bad girl. He's so sweet, right? Oh, hey, Lupita. Hey, Sammy. So yeah, um, we just put him down to sleep. So I don't know if I woke him up or maybe he just woke up on his own. I hope I didn't woke him up. That's the thing that sucks is my beauty room is right next to his room. And we put him down around 8, 8.30. He's Sarah. He is doing so good, you guys. Oh my goodness, he's such a sweet baby. He has his um four-month appointment on Friday. And... I'm going to ask you guys a question without anyone fighting, okay? Let's, let's like, handshake on this. Um, so, he is supposed to get vaccines. So, I, I plan on doing research tomorrow to make sure, like, which vaccines I want. My, my pediatrician is so supportive. Like, they're not going to force us to get any vaccine we're not comfortable with. But I'm curious, like, what kind of mom are you? Do you do vaccines? Do you, do you like, just do them all? You're like, oh... Yeah, I trust the doctor, whatever they say. Or are you like, oh no, I'm against vaccines, they're horrible, or like, what kind of person are you? He does kind of sleep through the night. Like some nights he, um, he'll wake up once or twice where I just go in and I pop a binky in his mouth and he goes back to sleep. Um, and then he wakes up around 5.30, 6 in the morning and that's when I feed him. And then he goes back to sleep for like another three hours and wakes up closer to nine, so... I know, four months already, what? Hey, Heather. It is so crazy, you guys. How time is flying by. So, what are your stance on vaccines without fighting? <laughs> I don't, I don't think I, like, for personally, I don't want to do a whole bunch at the same time. That's the one thing that I don't like, is, like, they want to give him, like, four shots at one time, and I'm like, like, I wouldn't even want to have four at one time. Why would I put that on my baby? Heck no. So, I'm, like, doing one at a time. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. Is like, they want to give them so many vaccines at one time. And even as an adult, I feel like I couldn't handle that many. I have five boys. Never had any issues with any shots or reactions. Hey, Cheyenne. Yeah, I'm just curious because I do have some friends that are, you know, they feel very strongly against vaccines. So I'm just very curious what you guys think. Okay, Angel, all her kids are vaccinated. Okay, okay. <laughs> so um, I do plan on vaccinating Judah, but, you know, I want to do research first before I just go in all the way. Both of my parents are in the medical field and I vaccinate my kiddos with what they recommend, which has been consistent with my pedi pediatrician. Hey, Birdie. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that my pediatrician, he's so supportive. Like, he doesn't pressure us. He's very like, do your research, whatever you feel comfortable with. We have done all vaccines, but have spaced them. Yes, I think it's better to space them. Like... I'm more pro-vaccine, but just, like, not all at the same time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. I don't want him to cry, you guys. My daughter has all hers, but her doctor only ever does two at a time. She never had a negative reaction. All of hers, space them out. Yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I probably will say yes to most of them, but I just don't think I will get them all at one time because... I, I don't know. I don't think I could handle, like, him being in that much pain. Last time he got one, and then he got an oral vaccine or oral medication of some sort. And even with that, he was in a little bit of pain. I was like, oh, my gosh, can you imagine if they gave him all the ones? We tried to stagger my daughter's oldest, and it was harder on her, so we did them all at once now. Really? Interesting. Hey, Kathleen. Okay, so you 
liked it better doing multiple at one time. Hey Desiree, hey Sandra. So I'm glad we were able to have this conversation because I feel like sometimes people can get really like heated about vaccines and all that stuff. So anywho, <laughs> hey Rachel, two at a time, I'm both, but the CDG says that kids with autoimmune deficiency should not. Oh, interesting. Hey Gwen, how are you? Oh, you do Tylenol before you leave the house. Oh yeah. Well, last time the pediatrician did suggest um, Tylenol, um, like a dose of Tylenol or whatever. So he's old enough. They do get fever sometimes. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that makes me so sad. I can't handle when he's like, the thing is like he cries and it's okay. Like it doesn't bother me when he cries like for a bottle or like I don't give him a bottle for the booby or like because he has a wet diaper what really hurts me is when he cries because he's in pain you know that cry <gasps> that like just like kills me inside it makes me want to cry oh I can't handle it you know how I don't know if you're the kind of person but when I see someone else crying I cry so I can like with my son if he's crying I'm obviously gonna like be bawling my eyes out <laughs> Last time though, when they gave him his shot, he wasn't, he didn't cry at all. Like when they gave him his last vaccine. So <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Hi, 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 hey, Okay, so let's do our foundation. Should we do the stick today, the liquid or the spray? So we got, this is the liquid, this is the stick. And this is the spray. So which one should we do tonight? Liquid stick spray. Let me know. I had someone come over last night to try the products. And I did a stick and spray on her. And she was like, oh my gosh. Like this makeup looks really good. And she was really surprised. I was like, girl, I was telling you. it's These products are amazing. She's like, I know. But I was like so like skeptical. <gasps> Debbie says spray. Yes, I'm the same way. I don't like see anyone cry. Oh my gosh. Right? Oh, spray, lots of snuggles and hugs and kisses. My babies get their booby right away. <laughs> What's really cool is last time, right after he got his shot, they're like, if you want a nurse in the, um, cause they, we were in a room, they're like, if you want to stay and nurse for a few minutes, go ahead and nurse. You don't have to leave right away. Um, and then once you're done nursing, you can go ahead and leave. So I really loved that because you know, right after he got his shot, he was wanting mommy. He was wanting mama. Spray, 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 spray. Oh my goodness. You guys love this spray. Dang it. Okay. All right, girl. I hear you. Um, just a reminder, guys, to post this to your wall because we are doing a drawing tonight. <gasps> hey, Luann. Okay, so I'm going to go in. Where is this? Okay. Spray it up. Spray it up. Normally, I would clean my brushes with Unique's brush cleaner, but I kind of used it all up. So, give him Tylenol before you go. I know, it is easier to get all the shots at one setting, one time and done. You didn't get in a second chance. I don't know how I feel about all at once. That makes me really nervous. Hey, Marie. Yes, my sister is studying to be a nurse. And so, she's pro-vaccine, but the only thing she told me um as a nurse is she's like yeah just you know try to space them out don't try to do so many at one time you can do a few at one time but she told me basically to space them out all right thank you lauren you are entered our pediatrician he's super cool so we interviewed a few different people thank you guys um i don't know if you guys did this but we interviewed two different pediatricians and so the first pediatrician, he was like so laid back, really like cool. He's like, yeah, if you don't feel like giving a vaccine, it's totally okay. I really want to support our parents, but also I usually go by the recommendations of vaccines um, and I'll make that suggestion. And um, his whole office was decorated like in different sports. And so um, each room is like different sports. So he has like... Um, a hockey room that has like the lightning which is the sports team that is for Tampa Bay he has like a Buccaneers um, room he has um, the baseball room so like each room is a different thing he has like a soccer room and they're all themed like sports 
it was so cool um and so I really liked that and then when I went to the other pediatrician it was just nothing it was boring <laughs> it was like a doctor's room and he was like yeah we go by the recommendation of vaccines and like almost like it was a law like you have to take the vaccine you have to do this you have to do whatever we say so I was like um I'm gonna go to the fun place <laughs> No, I know isn't it so cool like look at this coverage it like literally makes your skin look flawless so I love it Nicole yes it's Dr. Carcass how did he know that's so funny that I could express who he was and you already knew who he was do your kids go to Dr. Carcass too Nicole I the reason why I went to him is because a lot of people um recommended him so yeah, we ended up choosing him because he was just super cool, really supportive, laid back. And the other pediatrician seemed like super like uptight. <laughs> hey, Maria. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Vicky. If you guys post this to your wall tonight, then you're going to be entered for my um, giveaway. All right, let's do up here. Blend it out. And then I'm also going to do concealer on my eyes. Both of my sons and my nieces go to him. My oldest niece is 13 and she's been going to him since she was an infant. No way! Don't you love him? I love how he's like so supportive and I'll tell him stuff and he'll be like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> he's like, I, I told him last time, um, I told him, I'm really afraid about like um, SIDS because you know, you're a new mom, you're like terrified of something happening to your child. And I'm like, I'm really terrified about SIDS. Like, what should I do to prevent it? And he's like, um, just like put him down in the crib on his back. No big deal. He's like, am I, I think he said he's been doing this for like 20 years or something. He's like, in my 20 years, I've only had one baby die from SIDS. So he's like, don't be so afraid. Like you're doing fine. Just follow the rules of what you're supposed to do when they're sleeping. And it, he was just so great. <laughs> he always knows us and our relatives and us about our family. Oh, yes. I, I, I'm so glad that um, people suggested him because I don't like doctors normally. But I think when Judah gets older, he's going to like him. He's going to think he's funny. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Vanessa. Okay, so this is our new concealer gonna just blend it out I would use my beauty blender but I forgot to get it damp so I'm just using my brush because you can do it this way too I just feel like a beauty blender will blend it out even better but look at that coverage you guys mm, hello hey Becky so anyways yes he has his appointment on um on Friday I'm like nervous for him i'm excited to see how much this this little chunker weighs though <laughs> what are your guesses well actually maybe i shouldn't ask <laughs> last appointment he weighed 12 pounds this appointment i think he's probably gonna weigh like 14 that's my guess is he's gonna be like 14 pounds all right so there's the foundation you guys with the concealer look at my eyes how dark they are concealer if you ever need a color match let me help you what was really surprising to me is I post yesterday about like my before and after and so many people said I watched you silently for so long and then finally I decided to buy the foundation and I love it I'm like how many how many stalkers do I have on my page <laughs> how many people are like Lauren you think he weighs a little bit more maybe we're gonna find out um I don't know. It's really hard to gauge how much a, a baby weighs. But it's getting harder and harder. Like, every so often, I will take a shower with him. Because when he was an infant, that's the only kind of bath he liked. Was, like, taking a shower with mommy. But now that he's getting bigger, he's almost too big for me to hold in the shower for, like, an extended period of time. Oh, makes me sad. Cause I love that like special bonding moment. That's the picture I got printed. Did you guys see the pictures? So the picture of him on my chest is us in the shower together. And 
you know, that day he just like laid on my chest like so sweet. Oh, Isaiah's 14 pounds and he's six months. What? He's a skinny mini. Yeah, I think he'll probably be 14 pounds because he likes to eat. Eat, eat, eat. I know I hold him all the time. I try to hold him all the time. Today my mom came to watch him and she literally held him for like two hours while he slept. Um, and he sleeps so much better when you hold him, obviously. Um, so she tried to put him down for a nap and I guess he wasn't having it. And so she went in there and she held him while I was at the dentist. And I came home and I like rushed home because I was like, oh my gosh, he needs to eat. It's been over three hours. Because ah. I thought he was going to be really hungry. And I get home and he's just sitting there like. And she's like, oh yeah, he just woke up. I held him like this whole time and he slept this whole time. So I think my mom just wanted to get the snuggles in. My daughter is not concerned. My kids are on the, same, on the smaller side. Yeah, it's totally fine. Every kid is different, you know. He is so handsome and smart. Thank you. Yeah. I know. He's such adorable. My son is 16 months and is 19 pounds. 10 ounces. Tiny bit long legs. Father is tall. Oh. You know, the thing is, like, um, I want to be so careful, like, as Judah gets older, like, what I speak over him, what I say over him. Because I know that when I was growing up, so many people commented on my weight. As, and I don't know if it's more of a girl thing versus a guy thing. You guys tell me. Do you think it's more girls that like people mention their weight than guys? But I remember growing up and people would be like talking about how, you know, I look like I was bigger boned and I could lose a few pounds. And here I am like this 13 year old girl. And those things are, when people say stuff like that, it sticks with you. I don't have any children. We were trying so hard to have one. Oh, Lauren, I hope it works out. I know, you know, a lot of my friends, some of my close friends are trying right now and it's been a long time. So actually the person that came over yesterday, she said she, um, they were trying for like six years. And so she finally got pregnant with her second. So it does happen. I love when babies fall asleep on your chest. It feels like they give you their soul and unconditional trust and love is so transferable Ooh, how you said that is like poetic <laughs> that is so sweet yeah i agree and i remember so my younger sister her and i are like 11 years apart so when she was born i was old enough to like hold her and take care of her kind of um i remember her being a little baby and like her falling asleep on me at like 11 years old um it was like the sweetest thing ever and then boom like they're too old for it you know so oh that's the thing is like i struggle some days because part of you wants to be productive and like clean the house or work or whatever but then like other times i'm just like holding it i'm like oh i can't <laughs> girls get shame for weight my cousins are so much more skinnier than me and my grandma never fails to mention something about becoming a vegan she seems to do it when we eat oh, I hate that oh my gosh yeah I hate when people mention something while you're like eating something you're like way to ruin my appetite like by calling me fat right before I eat <laughs> I feel the same way um okay so I'm gonna do my bronzer and then we're gonna do the fun eyeshadow let me clean this off a little bit um Thank you. Hey, Lynette. It's hard as a mom trying to find balance. You know, I feel like balance, you never really like are able to have complete balance. I feel like each day is a choice and a struggle almost between like different things. And you just have to figure out what your priorities are and try to keep those leveled in your life. So obviously that boy is my top priority i think the new thing that i'm really trying to figure out and i told you guys this recently is like how do i how do i be a mom and be a wife and that's something that i feel like is really hard because for both of us we're so in love with that little boy but i feel like victor and i our relationship has changed and so i don't want to lose us in the process of 
us becoming mom and dad, you know? So I don't want to just be a mom. I want to be his wife. So I think that's like the new thing for me. And I saw this thing on TikTok and it just made me sad. And this guy was talking about how him and his wife got a divorce. And he was like, I feel like the reason why we got a divorce is because when we had kids, we stopped being husband and wife and we became mom and dad. We stopped giving energy and putting effort towards our relationship and it all became about the kids. And that's what I don't want to happen, you know? I don't want to lose each other because I feel like one of the biggest and best things you can do for your kids is to show them a happy marriage and a healthy relationship. And it's hard and I don't know how to do it right now. Um, because I feel like Victor and I are trying to figure out how to be mom and dad. And then it's like, oh, well, how do I be husband and wife now? Like, it's hard. You will not lose the wife thing at all. Oh, thank you, Diana. I'm trying to figure it out right now. It's hard because, you know, once your son goes to bed and then you're like exhausted and it, it I feel like I have to make a choice. Like when Judah goes to bed, I need to choose to make an effort with Victor where I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to spend time with him instead of choosing it to zone out on my phone or whatever. Hi, Marie. Oh, yes. Communication is so important. Oh my gosh. All right. So there's the contour. I'm using the color called Volet in the powder. So let's do the blush. Oh my gosh. Why am I so hot right now? <laughs> So I'm trying this new blush tonight because we're going to do like a purple eyeshadow. This is a color called Surreal. Hey, Pat. Oh, thank you, Marie. So whenever I show people this blush, they think it's going to end up being like super purpley. And it's not super purpley, ladies. It's not. Okay. Look at it. Does it look super purpley? I know in here it looks like, whoa. Oh my gosh, that's going to look so purpley on me. Is that even a word purpley? <gasps> yes. Hey, Cindy. Okay. So let's see. How many people are entered into the drawing right now by just posting this to your wall? Do, 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 do. I'm checking. I'm checking right now to see. I don't feel like we have a lot of people in the drawing yet. So make sure to post this and you'll be entered to win something from me. So my drink of choice tonight is sangria. I love sangria. Let me know what you guys are drinking tonight. Water, something good. Oh my gosh, we only have 20 people. Okay, so let's see. I see Rose is entered, Lauren, Angel, who else? Becca, Heather, Teresa, Angel. Oh my gosh, we don't have that many people because Rose shared a few times. So yeah, once you've posted this, then you need to let me know, okay? <laughs> right, Diana or Diane? Don't have another one yet. What is, okay, so I'm just curious because some of you guys have multiple kids. Do you like how far apart you had your kids or do you wish you waited longer or do you wish you waited less? Let me know. Mike's Hard Black Cherry, Water, ooh, I need to try that. Dr. Pepper. <gasps> Yum. I love Dr. Pepper. Hey, Jessica. So let me know, like, what is, what, what do you suggest? I know some people suggest like two years, three years. So, um, if you look at this in Publix or Walmart, it has like a bunch of like, um, what are those on it? I think it's like berries or, or little, there's like yellow, red, and another color on it. What are those objects on it? It's called Capriccia or Capriccio or I don't know. Hennessy, two years apart. My earrings. Okay, so Marie, I usually um, list these. I'll, I'll put them in the, the, the thing above. I get these from um, Kate Spade. And so they're on my Like It, Know It page. So you can easily go on there. I linked a whole bunch of them that I love. 13 months apart. And love their bond. Oh, we waited seven years. I wish we wouldn't have, but he has a lot of help being older. That's true. God's timing. Three kids, five years apart. Love the God. I only ended up having one child. However, I wanted to have one more. I wanted to have them four to five years apart. 
I know I love Kate Spade. Ugh. So, um, oh, I have to mention, Marie, since you love Kate Spade, the other earrings that I have, I think I listed them. Let me check it out. Um, I just got these earrings from Kate Spade. They're so freaking cute. They're like little ribbons. You have to look at it. Oh my gosh. So I listed it. Okay, here. This is my like it, know it. Okay. Look at those. They're like little ribbons. Okay. Oh my gosh. So freaking cute. Um, I'll just post this link really quick for you if you want to check it out because they're so freaking cute. I got them and they're like kind of Christmassy. Um, there we go. Let's see. Oh, it's not letting me pin it. Let me try to pin it here. Pin. There you go. So those are where I got my earrings. Um, and I think they're having a sale right now too. Hey Kiki. Kiki just had a baby too. Like a few weeks after me, I think, right? Or was it longer? I don't know. <sighs> okay. Let's do a highlight. So the color I'm using is called iridescent. Ooh. And the other side. Hey Mary. All right, so then let's do the eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with eye primer first. It's gonna help with creasing. And we're doing that smoky eye look. Okay, you had them October 9th and I had you to August. Okay, so like two two months apart. I almost said two years apart, two months apart. Hey Karen, hey Maria. Like you see that creasing? This is why you need eye primer. It makes a huge difference, okay? Like huge difference. Especially if you don't want that creasing. And a little bit goes a long way. Like, I'm not even using all that little bit I put on my finger either. Alright, there we go. Boom. Boom. I think I need to trademark that because I say boom all the time. You guys know me for the boom. Alright, and then we're going to go in with some setting powder thank you Ariel yay yeah make sure that you guys do that I'll try to choose one person at the end of this to be the winner hey Madison other side you know what stinks about doing my makeup at night is like having to take it off right after this because I pretty much go to bed right after this because that little boy likes to wake up sometimes multiple times a night Hey Elizabeth, hey Stephanie. All right, boom. So now we're gonna do eyeshadow. So we're doing kind of like um, a smoky eye look. Let me pull up the picture for you guys again. I'm trying to figure out if it looks more brown or looks more purple. So let me boost up my brightness and you guys can tell me. It kind of looks like a mauve-y mauve color. What do you guys think? What colors do you see in her eyeshadow? See a little bit of brown, mauve, gold. Um, so eye primer is tacky. Shoot. I hope it doesn't wake up. Okay. Eye primer is tacky and has a little bit of a tint to it. Face primer is clear and smooth. So, um, eye primer is tacky because it's, it's going to grab your eyeshadow, whereas face primer is smooth so that it fills your pores and your makeup looks smooth. Hey Jude, hey Linda, um, maroons, okay, that's what I thought too. I think I'm going to use this color and I think I'm going to use this color. Yes, let's do it. Maybe brown, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so let's go in first color golds mauve hey Angie all right let's do this I'm just gonna go with this first color called agile which is kind of like a mauve tone and I'm using our our blending brush which is a fluffy brush and the outer corner and crease and blending it out oh Heather thank you um, if you want, I can post the link to that too. I got it on Amazon. Freaking love the cover. 
of my my computer thing too because it kind of matches my beauty room all right blend it out look how pretty that color it is it's called agile it's like a mauve color hey kimberly freaking love it boom i'm saying boom a lot tonight so um one of my friends reached out to me asking us to get together with the other moms they get, I guess they get together every week on a Friday um like a mom's group and I'm like so nervous about taking Judah out for more than like an hour since he has his doctor's appointment at 11 and then the mommy's group is at 9 I get so nervous like okay so when is nap time and when is feeding time and I guess I'm more of like a rigid schedule kind of mom. Uh, but maybe I need to be more lenient. Hi, Kimberly. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Jessica. You guys were doing a giveaway tonight. So make sure to post this to your wall. Let me know you've done it. And you'll be entered. All right, let me get the mirror. Let's see what I'm doing with my life right now. Yes, that looks so cute love that color this is the first time I've used the mirror the whole tutorial <gasps> so funny but I love that color so much and the other side I just need to add a little bit more mmm girl that color is so pretty hey Ann I'm not a purple person but the mauve and purples look great on my hazel eyes it so does thank you Stephanie Hey Alicia, so when you wear um, purples and mauves, it looks really good on hazel eyes. It like makes your eyes pop. My contacts are acting up, you guys. Thank you, Ian. All right, so then I'm going to use this darker red. It's called Fervent. So I'm going to use this to kind of darken up the look. And then when you use a darker color, you want to use a smaller brush. I'm just going to do a little CV in the outer corner. Hey, Michelle. How are you doing? So um, another thing that's happening this week is we are looking into creating like an investment account and starting to invest our money because I feel like that's that's like the adult thing to do. It's weird because growing up, my parents never talked to me about, like, investing and saving and all that stuff. I mean, my parents were always super frugal, but they never, like, taught me what to do with my money. So, finally, I feel like you're supposed to do that. Right? <laughs> but you guys tell me, like, do you, have, do you like, have a, an investment account? Are you investing your money in something? Or... Are you just kind of flying by the seat of your pants and hoping for a good future? Hey, Janelle. I remember in college, I was always paycheck to paycheck. And then I decided, I was like, I probably should save my money. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane. Okay, so Michelle says she does. When did you start? Good, I think there's 527 account savings for children. Yeah, he was telling me that there's some, like, good savings account for children for, like, their college tuition and stuff. So that's one of the main reasons I was thinking about it is, like, for Judah's future, too. I just turned 31 this year, so I feel like maybe I'm not too late on the ball for this. <laughs> so Victor's job doesn't have a 401k, unfortunately, which kind of stinks. Obviously, my job doesn't, but it just stinks that his job doesn't because, you know, they usually match whatever you put into it. So his job doesn't get offer their employees one at all. Sucks. I inherited my dad's stocks. What? Look at you. Okay. Are they good stocks then? Hey, Mindy. Never too late. I know, right? Um, money for my dad retirement so yeah we're looking at investing um 
basically some money to to put towards the future so um but you know i do have some stocks so i have five shares of public stock because <laughs> i worked for Publix for a year and did you know that you can buy stock in the company when you work for them for a year and then you can buy stock so I worked for them in college for a little bit over a year and I was so broke. Like I said, I was like living paycheck to paycheck. So at that time, their stock was $20 a share. So I bought five shares, spent $100 and supposedly the shares are now like $50 a share. So yay, they've gone up. But um, it's just funny. I had like no money when I was in college. Coinbase, Lumens, I don't know what Lumens is. You start when you're 18 or 19. See, that's so smart. I wish my parents had started mine. Oracle's good stock. I started an investment account back years ago when I worked for ADP and I owned some shares and those shares broke off a bunch of times. Not a ton of money, but it's great stuff. Yeah. Yeah, totally. So maybe one day my public shares will be worth something. Right now, they're not worth much, but maybe eventually. I got five of them. So, um, all right. So I am trying to figure out if I should do one of these. Should I do one of these or should I do Reverent Liquid Shadow? These are a little bit more pink. Nobody has money in college. <laughs> oh, girl, you have stock in Target. What do you guys think? Do you like these colors or should I do reverent liquid shadow this one's a little bit more pink this one's a little bit more gold ish mm. i don't know you guys can let me know while you let me know i'll figure out what to do with my lips does she have like a burgundy lip let me look does she have on her lips yeah she had like a dark lippy Ooh, that one's sexy let me choose a dark lippy for you guys. Liquid shadows, I think it'll dry and be bolder. Uh, and says the right. We gotta choose one of these, I think. Oh, she's probably even darker than that. I don't know how dark you want to film. Oh, it's reaching. That's really dark. Oh, that's a little bit too dark. Let's do. Sensual. Sensual. Um, Reverend? Okay, let me show you Reverend. Um, no, those aren't Reverend. Nope. Dang it, where's Reverend? <laughs> Maybe we won't do it because I can't find it. Hold on, I can't find it. I will speak that I will find it. Nope. Where's Reverend? I thought I used it today. It's like my go-to color too. Okay, you guys, I can't find it. So maybe we won't do it. I thought I put it right in there. Oh, there it is in the wrong spot that's why um so this is reverent liquid shadow you know what it does kind of look like she's wearing reverent in the picture goldish one so that's reverent or this one i guess they kind of look similar so does that help now they do look really similar but Reverend might show up a little bit more because it's a liquid. I don't know. You guys let me know. Hey, Jennifer. What is this on my neck? It looks like a bite. Let's cover that up. Reverend. Okay. You guys are saying Reverend. I'm right. All right. Let's do it.
You don't have to tell me twice. I love Reverend. This is like my everyday. Oh yes, now let's blend it out because that is freaking gorgeous. Let's do this. Oh wow, that's so pretty. Good choice, you guys. That looks really good with the colors. It's the most sparkly. It really is. Super sparkly and fun. Alright, that turned out really pretty. I like it a lot. So let me look in the mirror. Alright, I'm going to look in the mirror and fix it a little bit. I still am kicking myself in the butt for breaking my other mirror. I think I broke it during a live too. Yes. And then bring it underneath. So freaking pretty. Mmm. Girl. Yes. I feel like I need, um... I need to put some eyeliner on with it. Alright, let's see how many people are entered right now into the giveaway. And I might choose a winner. Just depends how many you have going on right now. Hey, Sky. Hey, Nicole. Okay, let's see. 26? Okay, you guys. Come on. Man, someone gave me an angry face. Polly Miller. Is Polly Miller, Miller watching right now? Because you give me an angry face. He should not like me. <laughs> Alright. Um, I need to find my concealer. Or my liquid liner. Alright, here we go. side Good. All right, and then let's do some liner on the bottom. Just a little bit. Hmm. What do you guys think? You have to keep your mouth open when doing liner. I don't know how to do it any other way. 
You mastered the wingtip. Yay. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Sierra. Oh, Trisha's new. Everyone say welcome, Trisha. <laughs> Angry people go away. <laughs> Thank you. We have someone new. Hey, Trisha. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. I just had a baby recently, so life has been fun. Different. Um, so let's do a dark lippy. Let's do it with this lip liner. I feel like when you're a mom, you try to be so quiet doing everything. <gasps> like when he wakes up at night and I like go in to like put the binky in his mouth and I'm leaving the room, I'm like tiptoeing back to my room like, and then our floor is like creaking. I'm like, creak. And I'm like, do they hear me? <laughs> Does anyone else feel the same way? Hey, Paula. And then angry people need drinky drink. All right, so I'm gonna line my lips. Yeah, I'm thinking of asking my mom uh, to go watch Jira this weekend. So Victor and I can go on a date again. Because I feel like that was the last time we really connected. Um, I don't see any angry faces on my end. Ooh, that's good. I even do that at uh, my parents' house and we don't have babies. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, so let me go in. Where is that lipstick that I was holding up? Oh, here. It's called Central. It's pretty dark. Let's try it. line it up because it's looking a little bit not clean Yeah, yeah, I got stuff all over my fingers. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it too dark? Is it too much? <sighs> um, put a little pink shine over it. Yeah, that actually might look good. Let's see. Where's my pink lip? I'm just gonna put our lip plumper over it because this is the only thing I can find right now. I don't know where I put my lip gloss, so this is it. about this uh, lip plumper Whew. it tingles when you put it on oh my gosh 
actually making a mess here. Okay, so we do we still need to do mascara holy cow i need that um yeah that's true i could do an ombre i don't think i'm gonna do ombre hey jere how are you my friend um i am gonna do mascara really quickly though and then i need to choose our winner 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 chicken dinner let's do that um oh, i do need to put some setting spray on almost done here I'm too lazy I don't really feel like curling my lashes because this is gonna come off in just like five minutes because I'm gonna remove it all right I'm going in with epic this is one of my favorite mascaras it like just separates your lashes really really well my lips are still tingling. If you're looking for a lip plumper, this does it. All right. So this is the final look. What do you guys think? Does it look like the picture? I feel like it does, other than my lips being more glossy. Glossy, glossy. We gotta choose a winner. So let's choose a winner of the giveaway. Um, what color are you wearing on my lips? I'm wearing the color Sensual. Let me put my boots on. I'll show you what I look like. Um, last chance, post this to your wall. We're gonna choose one winner right now. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so this is my outfit tonight. So I'm wearing their um, tie-dye pullover, which is so freaking cute. And then I'm wearing these leggings. I actually got these leggings um, for free with my order. Can't really see them because this chair is black. <laughs> there we go. So I got these leggings, super cute. And then I also got these black boots as well so i listed all this above if you guys want to check it out um yeah so boots leggings and the leggings are like thick enough where you don't like you can't see through it so but not too thick where it's too warm and then i like love this pullover it's so comfy so comfy outfits all right let's do this oh all right, time to choose our winner. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. All righty. Thank you. Yay. Um, if you guys go to the link for any of the clothing above, they're having a sale right now on their slippers. Their slippers are so cute. They're having a sale 50% um, 50 50 off their slippers. So you get them for like $11 or something like that. And then the teeth whitening kit that um, I am an affiliate for is on sale. And they're doing a huge sale where it's like 70% off. Um, so just use the code TRUEBEAUTY that is listed above as well. Alright, so here let's choose the winner. I'm going to choose lucky number 7. <laughs> Heather, if you go to this video, everything is linked above this video. Um, okay, so here we go. The slippers. All right, so 28 shares. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Number seven is Drummel Becca Coleman. Brum, 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 brum. So send me your address and I'll send you a facial mask sample for hopping out tonight. Yay! 
yes all right you guys so um thank you so much for hopping on hanging out with me if you want to see the new liquid lipsticks that are out until sunday and then they're going to be going away for a while um say colors and then go check out all the other cute stuff above in my links and uh or you can always go to hellotruebeauty.com everything is listed on hellotruebeauty.com okay all right you guys have a good night this is the final look. Hope you guys have a great evening. Bye, guys.